Welcome to Idaho National Laboratory, the home of the National Reactor Innovation Center. Our tour begins with the Idaho Falls campus, where much of the engineering research and business operations work is conducted. First up is the Willow Creek Building, which serves as home to the Department of Energy's offices. Next is the Engineering Research Office Building, which serves as the headquarters for the lab and home of several of our key organizations, including the Laboratory Director's Office, the Nuclear Science and Technology Directorate, and the National Reactor Innovation Center's primary offices. At the Energy Innovation Laboratory, we have an auditorium for holding large meetings and laboratory space where teams are developing innovative sensors for advanced reactors. The Energy Systems Laboratory is where we perform cutting-edge research into advanced energy systems, such as integrating nuclear with renewable energy sources for the smart grid of the future. The Collaborative Computing Center is home to the state-of-the-art supercomputer named Sawtooth, which serves as the hub for modeling and simulation at INL. The CyberCore Integration Center is a world-class facility dedicated to securing our nation's critical infrastructure, with research and partnerships to prevent cyber attacks on electrical grids, water, and other vital infrastructure. Next is the Center for Advanced Energy Studies. Here, research is performed into analytical and radiochemistry, as well as areas like materials, fluids, and kinetics. Now we're heading out to the desert site where we test and demonstrate new technologies to bring them closer to operational readiness. The open space on the desert site allows for unique facilities and capabilities. It also holds important history for the Shoshone Bannock tribe and other historical artifacts. Additionally, the site is located directly above the Eastern Snake River Plain Aquifer, which is one of the largest, most productive aquifers in the world and covers a large portion of the southern part of Idaho, including the INL Desert Site. Protecting the environment, including historical artifacts and the aquifer, is something INL takes seriously. There is an extensive monitoring network in place to evaluate the effects of INL on public health and the environment. First up is the Materials and Fuels Complex, with several important facilities. Here is the Irradiated Materials and Characterization Laboratory, with hot cells where we analyze properties of irradiated materials. At the Hot Fuel Examination Facility, we analyze irradiated fuel from our test reactors to determine performance and safety. The Fuel Conditioning Facility is where we treat used nuclear fuel for safe disposal and recovery of fissile elements. The former home of the EBR2 reactor is one place we plan to host micro-reactor demonstrations. In the facility that once hosted zero-power physics reactor experiments, we anticipate holding low-power reactor demonstrations in the next few years. The Transient Reactor Test Facility is a robust and highly capable reactor that tests materials under off-normal and hypothetical accident scenarios. Several undeveloped areas adjacent to the materials and fuels complex have been identified as potential sites for demonstration reactors. Similar alternative areas have been identified near the advanced test reactor and other portions of the INL site. The Experimental Breeder Reactor, or EBR-1, is a national historic landmark where usable electricity was first generated from nuclear energy in 1951. The Advanced Test Reactor, the largest test reactor in the world, provides unmatched testing of nuclear fuels and materials. It is the flagship irradiation facility in the United States. Finally, Test Area North is where other historic reactor testing activities have taken place. And with that, we're ready to head back into town. Thank you for joining us for a virtual tour of Idaho National Laboratory, home of the National Reactor Innovation Center.